Hey everyone, this is Martin from HowToMakeMobileGames.com on the, what date are we on? January the 17th, 2017, uh, Tuesday here, and I'm still in South China at the moment. I'm about to go back to Manchester tomorrow. Uh, I'm sorry for the late video. I know it's been a few weeks since I did the last one, uh, but I wanted to get one done now just before I do head off tomorrow because I've, I've got a little bit of time between packing stuff. Uh, yeah, it, I was going to get a video done earlier, but around five days ago, I was about I was going to leave China and actually fly back home but I got really sick like the second to last day when I was here uh, and I had to cancel my flight and then pay for another flight to go back home so that's such a pain uh, really heavy flu and it's just been kicking my ass for five days but finally today I'm starting to feel okay and then by tomorrow when I'm flying I should be hundred percent okay hopefully um, but yeah god what a real shame just the weather just dropped here um, I don't know if that was the cause of it, but I, I was out in the city having a great time and, and with my wife and, and uh, sister and brother-in-law uh, and then just the next day completely dead, so it was horrible. But anyway, um, I said in the previous video and I think I mentioned on the forum that I'm going to share some results of uh, IQ Me, which is a new game that I built uh, over the past sort of two months working on it on and off. Um, it's a puzzle-based number game which has infinite levels. And I'll show you a couple of screenshots here in case you've not seen it before. Uh, but it's called IQ Me and then uh, this sort of just descriptor title at the end, Brain Training Puzzles. Uh, but this is the screenshots here. You just swap the cubes and then each of the lines and columns have to add up to the colored cubes on the end. Uh, really easy to play, uh, but as the levels get higher and higher, obviously it becomes more complicated. Uh, the addition becomes more difficult, but it is very easy to get into. Um, it took, like I say, probably two months on, on and off. I wasn't working on it full time uh, all day, you know. It was, it was a few days doing this and then a few days focusing on, on IQ Me. And one of the goals was to build something which was procedurally generated, uh, i.e. it had infinite levels and each level was new each time you played it. Uh, in this case it is, it has 20 levels per world and the worlds are infinite, they just go on and on and on. Uh, and get harder and harder and the other thing is I wanted to build something that wasn't just quickly a quick turnaround game I, I did want to do something which was puzzle based because it's different to the sort of skill based games that we've done a lot of before where it requires like fast reflexes or good video gaming skills with this puzzle game you don't have to be good at video games or mobile games you just have to enjoy number based games and be able to add ones and twos or higher numbers as the levels increase so I wanted to build something of quality as well. Um, one of the questions that I've said on the videos a few times uh, as, as uh, I've been talking about marketing is, would you play your game and would you pay for your game? You know, you've really got to answer those questions when you build stuff. And I actually saw somebody on the forum uh, ask that yesterday. Somebody had done a post about, I think it was, they were saying, um, uh, what am I doing wrong? And then the, uh, They'd done like a hundred games and a lot of them were reskins and then um, uh, somebody he then said that oh well, the revenue is going down I don't know why this is happening and then one of the replies was you know would you pay or play your own games yes or no uh, if you won't even play your own games um, that's a big problem uh, and I have I have to admit um, because of our previous business model you know the, the one that we were doing last year and for the past several years We've tried to build the games quite fast and then launch them. But to be honest, those are not the type of games that I would play. Uh, and I never play our own games. That's an issue. That's a really big issue. Uh, but I can honestly say that this game, I do play. I, it's on, installed on my phone and I play, uh, I've not played, for, well, I played I think a level or two yesterday or the day before. But I do enjoy the game. I do play the game as well. And I would pay for it, assuming that I knew what the game was. So I would pay a dollar to download it as well, because it actually this is the type of game that I enjoy playing, and that's one of the reasons I I wanted to develop it as well. It was you know kind of selfishly I wanted to make this game. Uh, the other reason is is it, to, for building this game is because I wanted to keep my own development skills sort of fresh as well. Um, so it was you know I coded it and built it and everything, and obviously as you can tell the artwork isn't sophisticated or anything like that. These screenshots are just generic backgrounds with you know people holding a phone. And then I've put the, the game screenshots in there. Uh, but it's a very basic flat shaded look, but kind of going for the clean look, which I do enjoy in games as well. 
but the goal is to try and build quality that that's the whole point of this exercise was to try and build something that was of a higher quality and that I could honestly charge one dollar for and say is this worth one dollar yes it definitely is I can say a hundred percent I think this is worth at least a dollar for sure uh, plenty of hours of gameplay and it's fun as well it might I mean it's fun for me uh, and other people have agreed as well so that, that's a good thing um, and then the second question as I said would I play my own game well the answer is yes I do play this my own game in this case um, and it's a good way for me to kill time and my math skill I think has improved anyway my addition skills uh, so yeah anyway but let's get on to the revenue that's what I said I wanted to share so it's been launched on Google Play Amazon since the start of the year um, well roughly the 4th or 5th of January is I think it was maybe just after I came to China a couple of days after I came to China uh, I was working on this I've been in China since December the 31st something like that um, and I think it was launched on iOS just a few days after that. Or no, no, sorry, I'll check anyway. I think it was maybe on the thirteenth or something like that. But um, let me just find the details. So I'll look at downloads first. So this is the iOS version, which is which has uh, done the best so far. I only have three days of data. I'm looking on AppAnnie.com at the moment. Um, so a great place to obviously check the stats of, of the games that are in your library. Also, some of the stats of the store, of the store is, I can't say it, <laughs> of the stores in general as well. Uh, app rankings and things like that. You can see the app history rankings for all different games. So definitely check out appani.com. It's a free service. Uh, it doesn't require any SDK integration either. Um, but yeah, there you go. So it was launched on January 13th. Um, I believe that's correct. Yeah. Uh, first day 14 downloads 13 and then the Sunday it has gone down to three so I don't know if that's gonna pick up again obviously it's very early days uh, it's only one dollar downloads per day uh, sorry it's only one dollar per download as well so it's not made huge revenue the very basic goal for this game though is to just make ten dollars per day that's it which is around 15 downloads per day because obviously Apple and Google and Amazon will take their 30 percent so 15 downloads a day would be $10 a day to us. Obviously not big money at all, just $10 a day. But um, if we're able to build more games of similar quality or, um, I mean, even just looking at it from like a long-term perspective, $10 a day is $300 a month for a single game, which isn't too